Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, City of Romance, Case 9, Die in the Sky. Let's unlock Chapter 2, and I actually forgot what what was happening. Oh, Brazzi. Look, there's a murder played. Katarina, someone must have tipped off the paparazzi. I don't want to get another shot, dudes. Get snapping, we might catch a shot of the body. Get out of here. Stop right there, this is an active crime scene. You better leave right now or I'll book you all for trespassing. Uh, now that's sorted, Katrina. We should take a look around outside the plane. No, oh, that's the daughter and there's Vanjiku. So if you two were there doing the murder, then you're not the killers. Are you? We'll see what evidence will say. Watching outside, it's a little windy here in Croatia. What's this weird device, Katrina? Maybe cracking the code will shed some light on what it does. Maybe it's the red radio thing for the plane. Now, the guy in this photo was presumably on the flight, but his signature is illegible. Let's see if we can find a match for this man in the PPS database. Okay. Okay, let's let's lock this thing. You got this device unlocked, but I'm not clear as to what it does. I bet Emil could figure it out. Let's get the device to him. Okay. Okay, let's let's now identify the handwriting. Oh, rather, let's identify this guy, it will be easier. Kasongo Badu. Who are you supposed to be? The guy in this photo is called Kasongo Badu. And according to our database, he's a reality TV star in Mazunda. If Mr. Bada was on the flight, he might have crossed paths with our victim. Let's question him. Okay. Please, no photos, darlings. The flight gave me terrible under-eye bags. Not to mention I'm still queasy with air sickness. I nearly threw up my muffin. Actually, we are police officers. Ooh, the police. What are we being charged with? Being too fabulous? Mr. Bottle, please. We're investigating a murder. A man named Chidi Udoka was killed on your flight. Chidi is dead? Oh, honey, that's terrible. So you knew the victim? When you reach the dizzy heights of stardom like I have, everybody knows everybody. Excuse me, but I need to post about this on my social media like 
right now. So it could be you. What's this device supposed to be? Did you manage to figure out what this device does, Emil? I certainly did. It's a cockpit voice recorder. Every plane is fitted with one, as well as a black box. Oh, knew it. And you'll never guess what it captured. Listen to this. Woman can't fly planes. Move out of the way and let me take over. Mr. Doka, you can't. It's followed by the sound of a struggle. Thus, Captain Mabuesa's voice, Katarina. Sounds like she got into some kind of altercation with the victim. We need to ask Captain Mabwe why she failed to mention this earlier. Guess the victim wasn't happy with you flying the plane. Captain Mabwe, you said earlier that the victim seemed like a nice guy. But the argument on this copy voice recorder suggests otherwise. How did you find that Copa Katarina? I removed it from the cockpit. I suppose I better tell you the truth. Mr. Doka did just visit the cockpit to introduce himself. The man came to tell me that women shouldn't be pilots and tried to wrestle control of the plane from me. Mr. Doka could have killed everyone on board if I hadn't stopped him. And I would have gone down in history as the woman who killed Prince Amado. Thankfully, I managed to hold him off, but he slashed my pilot license and broke it. The man was a sexist pig. I'm glad he's dead. We're sorry you had to go through that, Captain Mabwe. We just hope that you didn't take your revenge by killing him. Copa Katarina, what do you say we take another look around the plane bar for clues? Let's go. Alright. <clears throat> Well, I wanted to say that Captain can't, can't be the killer if she if she's flying the plane, but she can actually put the plane on autopilot and then go and kill kill our victim. So oh, here's another team, guys. I. I had a dream and in a dream I I saw who would be the killer in this case and I don't know why but I see the picture of uh, of victims as daughter as the killer. I don't know, that was just just in a dream. Well spotted Katarina. These are pills for air sickness. We know our killer is a sufferer. Could these pills be theirs? Let the sample of those fibers will tell us. And how do you think this lock could end up broken? Only one way to find out. Let's put the locket back together. Okay. Okay, let's put the locket back together first. And there's an inscription. You got to slot it back together, but the inscription is faded, Katarina. Can you recover the writing? Okay. Okay, let's collect the fibers from the pills. Well, that was quite fast. You got some of those fibers off of the Kyros' air sickness pills, Katarina. 
But now we have to send him to Enzo, and I think he feels pretty awkward after our awful date. Well, here goes, Katarina. Let's get the fibers to Enzo. It's not a problem with you, it's a problem in him. He talks about himself a lot. Okay, let's dust the inscription. To our darling daughter Grace, and I can't read the last paragraph. The inscription reads, to our darling daughter Grace, mommy and daddy will always love you. But the word daddy has been scratched out. Oh. How will Grace scratch her dad's name out, Katarina? Agreed. We need to question Grace again. Yes. Grace, we found this locket of yours. How did it get all scratched up? I did it. I was angry with daddy and I wanted him to know it. What did he do to make you so angry? Daddy made mommy leave us. He'd be kissing other ladies and mommy found out. And now daddy's dead and I'm all alone in the world, Coco Katarina. I want mommy back. Nobody else takes care of me like she does or makes muffin just the way I like. We'll have our officers look into your mom's whereabouts, Grace. But in the meantime, the Gadir Bonnet will continue looking after you. No. What are these black fibers? Hey Enzo, how's it going? I'm grod. I mean, great. Good. Why do you ask? Um, no reason. Did you take a look at those fibers Katria sent you from the Curious Air Sickness pills? Hmm, pills? Ah, yes, I found traces of Buffy on the fibers, confirming that they come from your killer. At first, I couldn't figure out why the fibers were so stretchy. But then it dawned on me. The fibers are from flight socks. The kind you wear to avoid getting deep vein thrombosis during long flights. Katarina, you're looking for a cure sporting a pair of flight socks. Well, our cure will soon be pairing their flight socks with an orange jumpsuit, Katarina. And you're right, both flight attendant Abuachiku and pilot Captain Bob will spend a lot of time in the air. The boss both wear flight socks. We gotta attack them like this, we cannot see uh, suspects as bottom, we cannot see what they are wearing. <laughs> Katarina, so much for wrapping up our investigation into animal smuggling. Because now we got Mazun and billionaire Chidi Udokas' murder to solve. But who's tapping in the eye mid-flight? We know his daughter was angry at him for driving her mother away with his cheating. Captain Mabwe, meanwhile, accused the victim of trying to wrestle control of the plane from her. I suggest... what's going on? Wait! Why is the plane moving? Katarina, are we taking off? You cannot go anywhere, this is a crime scene. Oh dear. Where do you want to take us? Alright, we're gonna stop here, we're gonna continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!